it's Jordan with FlexiJet and today I'm going to show you what it looks like to measure a typical kitchen with the FlexiJet. So I've got it set up and on my tripod, I've got my tablet in front of me here. I'm going to go ahead and auto level the FlexiJet with one click there. And then the next thing I've got to do is just let it know I'm going to be measuring a countertop. So this is where I measure my single point to set my plane for the countertops. No targets, no extra equipment required to do that. I'm just ready to measure. I'm going to go ahead and measure some of these points. So I'm working my way around the island. I've got targets set up ahead of time just so I can see uh, where the laser is going to be stopping. Go ahead and grab that. And right on this side here, I'll grab another point. On the side of the island, work my way around. You can see the geometry starting to take shape on the screen of the tablet as we work through there. And even though I'm at a tight angle and on dark cabinets, I don't need any tape or anything like that to measure that. Likewise, I can grab my point on the front of this, no problem. From the screen of the FlexiJet, I have this auto fillet button that's going to connect that geometry together. You can see one click, that's all put together. Measure the, uh, the sink center here with a point. And now looking at this page here, you can see how my drawing's not quite straight. So if with the FlexiJet I can align before I start measuring, I can of course just align while I'm working. So a single click on there is going to square this off into something we're looking at. And then of course pinch to zoom just to move around. So let's continue on measuring here. I'm going to go ahead and grab some lines on this set of cabinets here. The right side to the left, I'm just going to take a two point line there, aiming the FlexiJet by hand here. Likewise right there. And I'll work my way down this panel here, two points. When I get to the back wall, what I'm going to do differently though is I'm going to grab our scribe function and that's going to let me grab a little bit of extra detail on that wall so that the pieces are going to fit nicer. So we'll work our way through here, grabbing as much detail as we like and typically uh, the drywall mud tends to build out in those corners. So that's where we're going to grab a little bit of extra detail and uh, make sure that we're going to get a nice tight fit with our pieces. And we'll work our way up the side wall as well. Again, a little bit more detail in there. You can see the wall bows out, which is typical in these uh, you know, drywall construction. But this is going to let me uh, make sure that it's all going to come together very nicely. That's come very nicely on the screen of my FlexiJet and on the screen of the tablet there. You can see it's working great. While I'm at it, I'm going to capture the rest of the geometry of this room. But I'm going to show you how measuring works with the uh, remote control. So I can just pick it up and keep going. You can see it's very responsive to the FlexiJet. I'll go ahead and grab the scribe function and work my way down the sidewall. So even though my laser is spread out in oblong, I'm going to get accurate measurements with the FlexiJet here by, um, by using that advanced laser technology uh, to actually measure the wall quite a number of times there each time I press the button here. So I'll work my way along this wall. I'll grab a few points on my back wall as well. And that's, uh, that's working its way through quite nicely. You'll see I, I can control the speed of the laser with, uh, with, different, um, with different velocities on my different pads. So if I want to get a, a faster speed, I've got this, this pad over here and I can grab that scribe a little bit quicker. Uh, if I want to get really tight in there and, and dial it in, I have uh, super accurate controls on the FlexiJet remote as well. So I worked my way to the end here. Now that I'm at the outside here, I'll just go ahead and grab uh, two targets and that's just going to let me see where the laser beam is going to end here and that's going to let me grab my measurements. So with my multiple lines I'll go ahead and shoot those two targets and we'll, we'll go ahead and put that right there. While I'm here I'm going to grab another multiple line on the front of this cabinet. Just make sure that I've got the shape of these cabinets all, all in the software and ready to go for me. On my way past here I'm going to grab a point just to show me exactly where this panel ends so that I can get my stove opening right centered on there. And likewise, while I got my point selected, I'll grab another point on the other side of this stove opening. That's going to let me make sure that my stove opening is going to be perfectly aligned to that. So I'll grab my multiple lines tool again and once more I will grab a point on the front of this cabinet. Just opening it up to give myself a, an easier vantage point to, to measure right inside there. And so that's all the measurement data that I need to capture. Again, we can capture with the remote or with the uh, FlexiJet laser or using our FlexiJet smart remote app. So looking at this, I can do a little bit of editing here. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is add some, off, uh, some offsets to this. So let's add a one and three quarter inch offset 
to the front edge of this guy and this guy as well. In the case of the stove opening, what I'd like to do is just make sure that this front line is going to be squared off. To do that, I'm going to draw another line there and I'm going to offset it one and three quarters of an inch off to the front there. So let's add a radius to this guy too, a half inch radius. So we'll bring a radius right through on these lines on the island and on this line as well, we'll, we'll, we'll grab a, a radius through there. And likewise on, on this one, we'll bring it right through to the front. So looking at my stove opening, I got a little bit of work to do there to connect it. So let's just straighten it off so we're looking right at it. Um, a few corners to connect here, so let's start with that. Let's connect to this corner in the back. We'll connect this corner here as well. And we'll connect this corner on the front. What I'd like to do is square off this stove opening, and it's pretty simple for me to do that simply by drawing a straight line through here. This reference line that I was using can, uh, can get deleted for me. I'm going to offset this by 15 inches to either side, and that's going to give me the shape that I want that opening to be. So we're going to go ahead and stretch those lines. We want them to come right out to there. I'm going to stretch those two lines there. We'll connect the back side of those to the back wall. Grab that guy, make sure I get zoomed in so I can see what I'm doing there. Grab those right through. And then I'm going to just break that line right in the middle of it so I can get rid of the section that I don't want to see. So that's come along really, really nicely. I can see that that geometry is exactly like I'd like it to be. While I'm working through here, let's go ahead and connect the back side of, of this line to the other one there. You can see that's gone together and we'll bring this guy through. Likewise, we can just connect these lines to where they need to be. So my kitchen's all edited and put together. I can drop in a sink, throw in some dimensions, do exactly what I'd like to do with it. But that's everything I need to do on site here. So thanks so much for watching. If you would like to join us for an interactive online demo, please contact us. You can uh, control the FlexiJet right from your computer and see exactly how this powerful measuring tool can make measuring easy and accurate for you as well.